Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about large time frames, weekly, monthly, quarterly and we will figure out is it still bullish market trend, what's going on with the stock market world on the large time frames. As usually, let's move to my 5 rules of risk management, please read it and follow it every single trade and you will be successful, now it's a time for, for VBOL. Let's start from VBOL. We ball on on daily. If you want to learn more about we ball setup, you can go to the description. There is the link about all my trainings. And now let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using simple moving averages: white line SMA 200, purple line SMA 100, blue line SMA 50, yellow line SMA 20, red red line SMA 10, and green line SMA 5. Below MACD indicator, RSI indicators, that's all. Very simple, it's not easy because emotions involved. If you follow the indicators, you will be successful because indicators do not have emotions. Like on my chart, you see one green line, SMA5 did bullish crossover over it, and bars above green line, it was bullish trend. When bars below green line and green line SMA5 did bearish crossover over it, it was bearish trend. That's all very simple. It's not easy because emotions involved, but you have to control emotions. It's only one way. Now, uh, let's start from DXY, USA dollar. You see last bar about all moving averages, bullish trend, RSI and overbought territory, MACD and overbought territory, bullish trend on daily, weekly. For DXY, same, it did bounce from SMA 200. And now, last bar about all moving averages, bullish crossover on MACD RSI, bullish trend for USA dollar. And monthly, last bar still below SMA 20. Monthly, it, it, it did touch, you see, it did touch the SMA 50. Kind of it's trying to bounce, but so far it is still bearish on Monday. You say dollar is still bearish on mon on monthly. Sorry, on monthly. Not on Monday. And quarterly, let's see what's going on quarter. Quarterly, it is also did bearish crossover SMA5. Did bearish crossover over 10. Still above SMA20, above yellow line. But bearish reversal signal on large time frames, dollar is negative, but on daily, weekly, and it is positive. Now let's move to NASDAQ. NASDAQ triple QETF. Let's start daily. Last bar about all moving averages, bullish trend. It didn't make all time new high. Very close. It's very close. It's around 500. All time new high was 5503 and a half just three and a dollars away it's just easy jump can reach all time new high and it will be huge bearish divergent on our side weekly same weekly bullish trend it's building very i'm sorry bearish divergence did i say bullish bearish divergence on on, on the queues right on, on daily bearish divergences, building bearish divergences and weekly price action is bullish, we need all time new high and it will create bearish divergences. Divergence is not a signal, it's a condition of the market, but it's ready for the reversal, but so far trend is bullish. Monthly, similar story, last bar about all moving averages. Still bullish trend. Lines below is expected support lines for the future correction. And quarterly, quarterly same bullish trend. You see this this line, it's in yellow. It's let me see. Like this one. It's a top two thousand. Yeah, it's top two thousand, right? Top 2000 yellow line. That's what that's where we can get bullish trend on all indicators and bearish divergence on the other side. 
and volume is decreasing. I say volume is decreasing every single water. Now let's move to SP 500. SPX, SP 500. SPX, SP 500 daily. Let's start it. SP 500 daily, SMA 5 did bearish crossover over 10, over red line. It's a bearish reversal signal, but still last bar above SMA 20, above yellow line, still in the bullish territory, bearish crossover on the side, like an N M M A C D MACD. Weekly, last bar still above all moving averages. Bullish trend, bearish divergence. Let me show you price action is bullish uptrend, bearish divergence on MACD, and bearish divergence on other side. Bullish trend with bearish divergences. No bearish reversal signal yet on weekly and monthly, only on daily. Monthly, still bullish trend, right? Let me show you. Bull, bullish price action and bearish divergence. Bearish divergence on the side from 2017. Huge bearish divergence on the side. Price action is bullish all the time and last bar still in the bullish territory and quarterly quarterly price action is bullish bearish divergence on rsi even from oh, 98 it was the largest look at it 98 unbelievable rsi was 95 and yeah and so far it is Huge bearish divergence. Bearish divergence on the other side, price action is bullish. And lies below is expected support lines. Bullish trend, last bar disconnected from SMA 200, far away. Now let's move to Dow Jones. Dow Jones daily. Dow Jones daily, it's already started bearish reversal signal. SMA 5 did bearish crossover over 10, even 20. It is getting bearish reversal trend on daily. On weekly, still bullish, last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend, bearish divergences, price action still bullish. And monthly, also Dow Jones still bullish on monthly time frame. Some bearish divergence on RSI, on MACD. Price action is bullish. Bearish divergence on all indicators. And quarterly. And volume is decreasing also. Quarterly bullish trend. Quarterly no. Diversion on other side, right, from 2017. Bearish divergence is bullish trend. And below expected support lines. Uh, one more line over here should be around 350. So far, trend is bullish. No changes for Dow Jones. IWM. Daily time frame, bearish reversal signal, still last bar at SMA 20 level, can bounce from it, bearish reversal. Weekly, last bar still above all moving averages, bullish trend. Monthly, last bar still above all moving averages, bullish trend. And quarterly, last bar still above all moving averages, also bullish trend. Lines below expected support lines for the future correction. Now let's move to Mega 7. Apple. Apple daily. Last, it's, a, it's a bearish reversal signal. Still above SMA 20. Still in the bullish territory. 
weekly last bar above all moving averages bullish trend monthly last bar above all moving averages bullish trend and bearish divergence let me show you price action bullish and bearish divergence on MACD bearish divergence on RSI bullish trend quarterly similar bearish divergence on RSI on MACD only on, on the histogram bullish price action last bar disconnected from all moving averages very powerful bullish trend for Apple, Apple in the very overbought territory. Tesla. Tesla daily it was bearish. It was bearish till last Thursday. Last two days it did huge jump, 10% gap up. And last Friday it filled the gap. It not filled the gap. Gap still in the place. Still it did bullish reversal powerful bull, bullish reversal from the oversold territory weekly last bar still dancing around sma 200 bullish trend and monthly last bar also above all moving images bullish trend quarterly it did bounce from sma 20 sma 20 strong support it did bounce from sma 20. Now Tesla is not bearish anymore. It bounced and now it's in a positive territory. Nvidia. Nvidia last bar about all moving averages, bullish trend. Last yeah, four days ago we did all time new high and created another bearish divergences on RSI and MACD on the MACD. Weekly similar bullish trend. Bearish divergence on MACD on RSI price action is bullish and monthly powerful bullish run. Monthly bearish divergence also powerful and RSI in the very overbought territory MACD very overbought also. Quarterly, uh, quarterly last bar disconnected from SMA 20 peak time. RSI in overbought territory, bearish divergence, all indicators in overbought territory for NVIDIA. I don't know if some of some analysts said, said that it's still in the bullish trend. Technically, it's way, way overbought with bearish divergence. It wants to help correction. Okay. Daily, daily Microsoft bullish crossover, bullish trend. Weekly, last bar below SMA, last bar below SMA uh, 20, SMA 5 and 10 below SMA 20, it is bearish trend. And monthly, monthly last bar still above all moving averages, bullish trend. Bearish divergence on RSI in the MACD. Then RSI bearish divergence on the MACD just flat. But RSI huge bearish divergence, bullish trend on monthly. And quarterly. Quarterly similar. Price action bullish, RSI has bearish divergence big time bullish trend yeah expected support lines around 100 dollars now let's move to amazon 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 daily amazon daily last bar above SMA 20 still bullish trend weekly last bar above all moving averages bullish trend and monthly last bar above all moving averages bullish trend quarterly yeah it did last time it did all time new high bearish divergence on macd on rsi 
trend is bullish various divergences on all indicators let me show this like this one bullish trend various divergences for amazon google google daily sideways price action around the sma 20 weekly it is bearish sma 5 10 and bars below 20 it is bearish territory bearish trend monthly monthly uh it is in the reversal stage still above sma 10 and 20 still in the bullish territory powerful bearish divergence let me show you see price action bullish and bearish divergence on other side same on the on the MACD MACD. Multiple bearish divergences, still bullish trend. Quarterly bullish trend, bearish divergence on RSI and Fibonacci. Meta Meta. Let's start Meta daily. Meta already bearish, right? SMA 5 and 10 did bearish crossover, bearish trend. Weekly, last bar, still above all moving averages, still bullish trend, bearish divergences. Monthly, bullish trend on all indicators, overbought territory. And quarterly, powerful bull run, bearish divergence. Huge disconnection from SMA 20, bullish trend bullish trend met on all time frames let's do summary let's do summary all all equities and indexes on the large time frames weekly monthly and quarterly bullish trend very bullish very overbought on other side all in the overbought zone and they all have bearish divergence on the large time frames weekly monthly and quarterly on rsi in overbought territory but on daily time frame they all kind of started reversal signal not all but like you still positive bullish s p 500 already started reversal but dow jones bearish iwm bearish on daily right apple in reversal stage Tesla bullish, Nvidia bullish, Microsoft bullish, Amazon bullish, even on daily, Google is kind of flat bearish, and Meta bearish reversal trend on daily. That's what we have. But weekly, monthly, quarterly month is still bullish. No bearish sign yet on large time frames, only bearish divergences on all time frames on all indicators it means someday it will do it's building bearish reversal condition and someday it will do reversal so far it is bullish also volume is low on for all equities and indexes on on large time frames that's all that's all from my side let's move to disclaimer I'm not a financial advisor. This video for educational and informational purposes only. Remember, for educational purpose, we are using Paper Trading Simulator. Thank you for watching simple trading style videos. I do publish daily, weekly, monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes, and cryptos. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click like button to support this channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.